Hello everyone, it's Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and this is the Grovey Project and GitHub for social media and SEO tracking and all sorts of goodness as soon as it's done or near its completion. And it's time to do a little bit more systematic testing. So every time I go into main, the main function, I'm switching between the GDocs way of uh, connecting it to a data source and the shelving way of connecting it to a data source or CSV file. So uh, for db source in, and I'm just going to make this a, a list, gdocs local. And this shows you something about Python. You know, usually you want to see for something in something, and that in something is a variable representing a structure like a list. Well, you can actually just put the list right in there. And I'm going to make up an arbitrary function name and then move all this lower stuff into that function. And uh, let's see, what should we call it? This is where all the action happens. It, it's like the main function, but it's, uh, you know, it's processing a single spreadsheet is what it's doing. Uh, so we'll call it you know, do sheet. Do sheet. That has some good branding to it. Um, we're going to need to know the DB source. And at this time, that is probably all we need to know. Um, so I will outdent to here, and that becomes the new main. If you look at that, those three lines are now going to be main because I am now going to go def do sheet uh, db source. And uh, globs. Oh, okay, very interesting. So, um, yes. We take, get rid of this hardwired one, which gets it from the, uh, the location. And now we put the parameter value in here. Oh no, wait, it's, it's if it equals local and if it equals GDoc. So this actually uh, is my first big round of work. I, uh, not big round of work, but I broke this out. So it should go through do sheet twice, doing it one way the first time and another way the second time. So let's see if that is indeed true. What did I forget? Oh yeah, you always need a colon after you define a function. And uh, you let's see for db source. So it's it's going to enter main. And when it does enter main, it's going to first feed one in and then the other. Oh, it globs, so it's not it, it's not being caught on either. Hmm. Well, we might be forgetting about that globs a lot. We might just need that sitting around for some other use later. It's always good to get rid of global variables. Now it should iterate through first the uh, Google spreadsheet and then the CSV file. And indeed it does. Um, I guess for the sake of purity, we tab E and we get rid of the one thing that's actually in there. But now this is well set up for running jobs, you know, if you're going to be processing lots of spreadsheets. And it's also set up for much uh, better testing. So I guess I will commit that and uh, wrap this up. Git commit am uh, broke uh, sheet work into new function. No, that doesn't make sense. What I really did is, you know, I'm 
calling both DB sources for testing. We might have use beyond testing in the future. Hit push. Exit. Okay, there you go. Um, thanks for joining me. Thumbs up the video, and I'll talk to you soon, and don't forget to subscribe.